figure 1340, the crosshead, um, I'm not going to design it, but I will go through the steps that I followed using the rollback bar. So sketch one, you can see what I created here. I drew everything out and then did my extrude. Sketch two, I drew on the bottom. And then I extruded up. Sketch three, <clears throat> is to get to the bottom corner of the bottom feature. It's at 45 degree and 73 down, so 73 down, 73 over. I created my plane for that 73 down offset. Now I created another line at the end of the 73. And the purpose of this is to create my 45 degree surface at 73 down, 73 away. On here, I drew in my base feature, and I extruded. I'm not concerned that these are two different parts at this point. Then I drew the base sketch, and I extruded that. My next sketch is going to be part of my loft. Now over here, I drew in this sketch. <clears throat> this is 14 down. It's a construction line. And the purpose of this construction line is to create my 45 degree plane at 45 degrees off of that line. On that sketch, or on that plane, I drew in my rectangle and made it coincident to the edge. Made that 20, so now I have this 20 at 45. I have the same thing down here. So now I take these two and I loft them together, creating my third feature. Now using the Boolean operation and a union, I can join them together. <coughs> and that completes the crosshead tutorial.